Welcome back everybody. I'm Mike Rohn of Fix My Hog. In this video today, we're gonna to be upgrading this Milwaukee 8 with an SNS 475 cam. Now we've had a good relationship with SNS and uh, as usual, another quality product. And this cam really responds really well in the Milwaukee 8. The other nice thing about this video today is with the Milwaukee 8, it really doesn't matter in your configuration. This bike's actually a 114 cubic inch. This same procedure is gonna to apply to the 107, 114, 117, touring model, soft tail. So it's, it's pretty much gonna cover all the bases on whatever model you have for a Milwaukee 8. Um, along with the cam upgrade, there's a lot of other things we're gonna be doing with the motorcycle. So like I always say, you know, get a notepad, get a paper, there's gonna be special tools, parts you're gonna want. So when you start your project, you can go from head to toe without any inter interruptions. Uh, let's kind of go over some of the stuff we're going to be doing with the motorcycle today. So, like I mentioned, 475 cam works really well. We got a lot of dyno time with this cam. Um, you know, if you were to look at the factory cam, here's what Harley's tied to. They got to pass emissions. So, basically, the motorcycle runs, everybody's happy. If you look at these lobes, you can just see, they'll get a close-up of that for you. And if you were to... I'll just kind of point it out. I, you just look at the profile of that lobe, and now look at the stock profile here. You can see on each lobe, it's pretty dramatic difference. And of course the lift, this 475 lift, stock lift, very anemic. Okay, along with that, the hard facing quality on an SNS cam, much better for longevity on your motorcycle. The hard facing on the OEM cam, Typically on a high mileage bike, it gets to be an issue. So another nice little bonus if you're going in there. Also on the M8, uh, they came up with this uh, Teflon or plastic uh, little lifter guide. And really what it does is it, it kind of keeps the lifter from rotating. So it, it sits on a motorcycle like this and it's going up and down in there. So what SNS did, they, they kind of saw that was gonna be an issue. So they come up with this billet aluminum guides. So now it's not gonna wear out. It's just a nice little, little upgrade that we're recommending you do when you're in there. Basically free labor at that point. And of course, um, if you've done any research at all, the quality of the factory lifter is not very desirable. You know, every manufacturer out in this world is, is trying to chase nickels. And this is probably one place they shouldn't do it, but if we can get a close up of this, you'll see the hard facings coming off this lifter. Now this lifter's only got 20,000 miles on it and that's really not acceptable. So there again, SNS makes a good quality lifter with good hard facing. Free labor when you're in there, if your motorcycle, I mean, I don't care if it's brand new, just go ahead and ditch the factory lifters and put in a quality lifter. Uh, the other thing we'll be doing, and SNS sells this also, it's part of the cam kit. The inner cam bearing, same as a twin cam. I mean, uh, if, you've, if you've had a twin cam or you've looked back at our other videos, we always update the inner cam bearing. Um, if you look at this bearing, I'll just kind of hold that so you can get a shot of that. It's a caged bearing. And typically on high mileage motorcycles, we can see this deteriorate. So what we've updated it to is a full roller bearing. And it's costs like two bucks more than the stock bearing. So it's kind of a no brainer, needs a special tool to do it. So we're gonna go over that as well. Um, adjustable push rods on this motorcycle, we're gonna just cut the, we're gonna cut the stock push rods. That way we don't gotta take the rocker box or the gas tank off. Um, just makes it a lot nicer and quicker, especially if you have a touring model that's liquid cooled. Even this model is kind of a pain in the butt because it's got these oil lines running across the rocker box and it's not very easy. Adjustable quickie push rods from SNS, they go in quick. That's the whole uh, idea. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but Harley's got a superseded part number on the oil pump. So what we're gonna do for the cost of 150 bucks, we're gonna put the new latest and greatest uh, oil pump in from Harley. 
If you choose so, SNS offers a high volume oil pump, promotes more scavenging, um, more oil pressure. You know, it's it's a good option if you got the money. So here's that cam tool I was talking about. When you do the uh, inner cam bearing, you're gonna need a special tool. I've got the one from Jim's, works really well. There's a whole procedure on uh, how to put the cam bearing into the right depth. So if you got the Jim's tool, you don't gotta worry about the spec. This tool, when you install it with it, sets it to spec. So that's kind of a nice thing. And, and the Kentmore tool is probably more expensive and probably harder to get. You would have to probably buy it through a Harley dealer, I'm assuming. So anyway, that's something, like I said, get your notepad, start writing down the tools you're gonna need. Um, in reality, I mean, you know, this bearing, if you, if you wanted to maybe not do this process, you could probably milk it out 40,000 miles on your bike and not put the cam bearing in. But if you're in there, suck it up. Maybe take it to a dealership, have them put the cam bearing in, you know, something like that, or all your buddies pull together, buy the tool. If you're in a club, everybody shares it. Kind of helps it. When you're done, you sell it. Okay, um, let's take a look here. And the other nice thing about this kit, comes with pretty detailed instructions from s, &S. So it kind of holds your hand the whole way through. Uh, you get a nice instruction for the cam, the uh, push rods, and then lifter cuffs. And we're gonna be doing that all today. Manual, it's always nice to have a manual to refer to that for your torque specs, and just to kind of help you walk through it. Take a peek at my notes here, see if we're going everything. Um, obviously you're gonna need something to cut push rods, Bolt cutter is the way to go. You don't want to use a hacksaw or cut off wheel, make a big mess. Does a good clean job. Uh, one other little special tool you're going to be needing, and this is actually from uh, Harley Kent Moore. It's a locking tool. And what that's going to do is when we have the cam cover off, that's going to lock the, uh, the crankshaft and the camshaft so we can detorque and torque the cam and uh, crankshaft bolts. So. Put that on your notepad, that's gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to have also. Um, there again, obviously give yourself plenty of time before you start a project like this. So let's go ahead and dive in.